hello my dear friends welcome again to another quick tutorial in today's video we are going to look at how to create a multi bootable usb flash drive using the software called ventoy this means that you can have multiple operating systems and other bootable media in just one flash drive i'll leave the download link in the description below but you can also follow my googling steps to download it yourself also, please note that a version of this software may be updated in the future, but the process will still be the same. At the main page of the website, you can go to tested ISO to find all the operating systems and other bootable medias that have been tried and tested with the software. After, go to the download section. Here there is Linux and Windows. I use Windows. I will click on that. Scroll down and download the software here. After the download is completed, extract the folder to any destination of your choice. I will choose the desktop. Open the folder and run the application. Select option. Choose secure boot. Select the partition star. Here you can see there are two, MBR and JTP. You can choose MBR. I discovered it works for almost all computers. If you don't know the right partition system of your computer, I have provided a guide to help you to choose the right partition style. Click install. Click yes to format the USB flash drive. Wait for the process to complete. Copy all your operating systems on the flash drive after you are done. I'm fast forwarding it. This will take some time. Now, the USB flash drive is ready to be used. Please note that you can copy more operating systems on a flash drive. All that you need to do is to copy and paste. Insert your USB flash drive. Press the power button to turn the computer on and immediately start tapping on your computer manufacturer's boot menu key to display the boot menu screen. Please check if you can find your computer manufacturer's boot menu key here. If not, please check the description below for more. Choose your USB flash drive. Mine is Toshiba and press enter. Now you can select your operating system here. Let me try the first one. As you can see, it's working. Let me restart the PC again and try the other one.
is also working. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more captivating videos. Also if you have any problem, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video.